during this demonstration we're going to make this stunningly um statement necklace these fossil agate are absolutely beyond this world i absolutely fall, fell in love with these now these uses so this this is achievable by all it's using basic jewelry making techniques but it just shows you don't have to be complicated to get a statement look so we're going to start off creating this main section here um, and what we're going to use during this uh, technique we've used five of the um, statement uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what shape to call them I'm going to call them tubes um, We've got two pieces of the chain. All, nothing in this has come from outside of the kit. So everything you want is here. Um, then the, oh, the Peruvian blue um, opal, stunning. So we want 12 of those. And I've used um, a couple of drops, as you can see, um, and the others to extend up the chain. We've got some of our findings and I've even used the other parts of the findings, which I'll go through in a bit, to extend the kit further. So we also need um, bail making pliers or round nose, whichever you prefer, um, because we make a couple of extra jump rings, some uh, cutters. Essential is your um, crimp bead pliers. Then we've got some round nose pliers and some chain nose or flat nose, either or doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get cracking. So your strand comes on a thread, um, a knotted thread. Each one is individually knotted so they don't bash against each other. Um, and all you have to do is snip off on either side of those knots and pull the thread. You might find a little bit left there, just make sure you pull that out. So separate all of your um, beads. Now I, I picked, so I've kind of put them into pairs. And I mean, look at it, look at it. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You see all these um, markings. You actually see this going all the way through. Doesn't it remind you of rock when you slice, when you see it being made and you slice it? Absolutely fascinated to think that these were creatures. Amazing, amazing piece. So I want, I'm going to put them in pairs. You can arrange them how you like. Okay, and then I, I've got one of the jump rings and some beading thread, which um, isn't in the kit, but you must all have a stash of beading thread. Always useful to have. I'm going to pop that. A piece of beading thread. Now we're going to start at the jump ring at the bottom. I'm just going to put that chain out of the way. So I'm going to pop the jump ring on. You want to make sure it's closed. And then obviously the drill holes in these are super, super uh, sized. So you can easily get your two strands, your two ends of your beading thread through and pull it down. So that gives you the attachment in the bottom to pop your two opals on. Then we're going to go for two of the smaller opals. When, when I say smaller, I mean smaller, not small, because <laughs> none of these are small. Stunning, stunning stones. So I'm going to pop those two on there, slide them down and then one each of the big beads there's a little bit of the threading material then another two of your opal so basically using your opal as spaces almost which is amazing these are good i love the different colors and you you'll see something different every time you look at them um some are very subtle but it's still there the markings are still there and some are, obviously that one is very very um obvious so we're going to pop that one through there now to to distinguish at the top what i've done and turn that around as you can see is we've got a couple of beads well they're not they're crimp bead covers so although one's holding where i've crimped the other one is literally just being used as a bead so use your crimp um pliers and you'll see you've got one um which has got a little tongue sticking out and a semicircle that's to to crimp your beads and the other one is sort of a little almost eye shape so we're going to pop the bead in there and squidge it closed now these are really really good crimp bead covers so we're going to squidge that down take your time i brushed that one a bit turn them round a bit and you'll get as you work it round, you'll get a nice round 
bead but you still get that hole through the middle so you can then slide that through there we go pop that on you do have some um spacer beads in the findings pack which are really really fantastic findings pack with this kit but they're 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 um small ones so they're just going to go straight through these big beads so then we're going to pop another one of the opal on and now we want to crimp this shut so we're going to crimp we're going to attach it straight to the chain i've got two lengths you can make them as long as you want um, i used the whole chain so it was what i had left um which is about four or five inches so this is going to be a higher um piece you can make a long one but i made a lariat style with another one so get that off you want your crimp bead which are these little tubes if you've not seen them before they make great beads remember the important thing about this is it the word bead they, they can be used as a bead but as a crimp they secure your beading thread so i'm going to pop it through the chain and then back through the bead and pull that down okay not you don't want it 100 percent shut because that will cause you need a little bit of a gap there now we're going to take this one with the tongue and crimp that down and you'll see you'll get a little bit of a, a c forming and your let me turn this over and your thread can you see in the center where you've got that dimple you then turn it round and you're going to move that eye shaped one and you're going to fold that basically over again and go round and you create a tube out of that crimp tube so you're creating another tube effectively trim your thread make sure you're cutting the right one do it that way okay then we're going to put the crimp cover on top so it sits inside the bead there we go and then you close up that bead and close it up squidge it down and get your bead on there sorted so that covers your crimp bead now what i've done on the other side on this this i've actually done is use these beads which i forgot so i've popped them on the eye pins eye pins in a kit wow bend the top over Get you round those pliers. So you've got two alternatives now with this design. Okay. You want to try and keep the two holes so they're about the same size. So think on your round nose pliers or put this on a baling pliers and pick which side you want. These are hardened um, metal, so they're harder than the normal wire. So you can just do a loop and it will hold. So I'm going to shut that and then you would attach this instead of the chain. So we'd crimp that to the thread and then just attach another one to there. Um, and then with the ends you've cut off, we're going to use the baling pliers to create some extra jump rings because I hate waste. Just taking it round there. Now I'm going to go all the way round, pushing that down. And I've now made myself another extra couple of jump rings. And these I have used these my pliers, to attach the chain to the clasp. The magnetic clasp is amazing. Okay. So you do that, as, I can, as you can see, the magnetic clasp is fantastic. So you do that with both sides. In whichever style, either straight chain or creating the links, depending on how you want to use them. So I've then made a little dropper on this one out of two of the graduated, one of the bigger and one of the smaller blue opals. And I've popped them on the um, featherweight head pins, pop your pliers in, turn it over 90 degrees, twist your pliers round and then fetch that wire all the way around so that you've got your loop. Pop your pliers back in, wrap around three times, and then you've got a nice wrapped loop. Before you wrap it round, unwind, there we go. It's just like live TV. Pop your other bead on. Pop it in. 
wind it round three times, trim off, attach that to your jump ring. Now be careful where you're opening your jump ring that the open and shut is not near that thread because you don't want to pull it out. So pop that on your jump ring, make sure you close it properly. There we go. And there is your necklace. Obviously do the both sides. So you can either have a side with just a chain, that's a variation for you. Or you can have it with the, with the links. I like it with the links going up. And there you go.